Okay, so you guys wanna know how to sell real estate right now? I'm fixing to tell you. What's up, what's up, what's up everybody? Ricky Carruth here, Remix of Orange Beach, zero to diamond.com. I am the number one Remax agent in the state of Alabama three times and I am actually building the fastest growing real estate coaching program in the world. It's absolutely free. We're over 11,000 members and growing very quickly. So I'm really excited about everything happening and today I want to talk to you about now business because so many agents reach out to me that are in the program, not in the program, and they're asking me, Ricky, I have bills to pay. How do I pay my bills right now? I need now business, okay? So in my program, our main philosophy, the key is relationships over transactions. It is my mantra. It is what I learned in the market crash in the late 2000s when I lost everything. I went bankrupt. I was sleeping on friends' couches. I was sleeping in my car and I went back to roofing houses. I worked on an oil rig. I read 100 books. And what I realized was that it's not about the deal. It's not about the money. It's not about the transaction. It's about the relationship with each and every client, prospect, customer, human being. Market share to me is how many lifelong relationships you have with property owners in your market. Whatever agent has the most lifelong relationships with property owners in their market owns the market share. Okay, they have all the future business. And when I say this, I say real lifelong relationships, not somebody you know, but somebody you know, like, and trust. Okay, so let's talk about now business because a lot of people look at the zero to diamond philosophy and they think that's a long term approach. That relationship thing is long term. How are you gonna get business now? We need to pay bills right this second. Here's the truth about it, okay? Nothing is now business in real estate and everything is now business in real estate. I don't care where you get your leads from. If you get a buyer lead online through Zillow or if you get those through Facebook, if you're doing for sale by owners, expired, circle prospecting, which is my favorite. Um, it doesn't matter, sphere of influence. Anyone you talk to, you get a Zillow lead, okay? You get a Zillow lead and you could talk to that buyer, prospective buyer, and they may say, uh, yeah, we're looking around, we're not ready, we're thinking about doing something the next six months to a year down the road. That's not now business, right? You could get another Zillow lead and they're ready to write a contract today. Same goes for every single type of client. Every single avenue is a possibility of something right now and for the future. So you have to work both angles, okay? So if you're talking to a for sale by owner, they may want to try to sell it on their own for three months, six months, two months, a month before they decide to list it with an agent. When that time comes, you may or may not be the agent they decide to go with, okay? So all of these avenues could be short-term or long-term, you're gonna lose deals, you're gonna think that clients are gonna work with you that aren't gonna work with you. That's all part of the game, okay? So keep this in mind. There's not an avenue that is quicker than the other. Too many people are trying to put categories on certain types of clients to try to say these leads work quicker than others. It's not true. Everyone in the market is or could be ready to do something at any moment. So they could be ready right now, they could be ready in the future. So how do we capitalize on this? Before I get into that, please do me a favor. If you like the video so far, click that like button, leave me a comment, just say nice video or something, doesn't have to be anything extravagant. Leave me some, some detailed thoughts and feedback, I love that as well. Let me know what videos you want me to do in the future and I will do those videos. But every little comment helps me and every little like helps me push this video to people who need to hear my message. So how do we capitalize on each avenue of business. How do we figure out what avenue we want to specialize in? Okay, and how do we do deals now? 
How do we capture leads that want to close deals today? This is how you do it. You have the mindset that you understand the leads that come from each avenue are a possibility for now or the future. So we're going to treat them as such and we're going to we're going to dig in and create that relationship and find out what they want to do, help them do what they want to do. Okay? As we're doing this, the name of the game is across many, many people. Okay, we want to do this across many people. The problem is most of you are just concentrating on one person trying to convert them, one person trying to convert them, one person trying to convert them, and you only have three or four or five people you're trying to convert, whereas you should be spending about, I don't know, you know, half your time or even less than that trying to convert people, the other half going after new business where you're spending all your time trying to convert a few leads. Okay, so this is a mindset, this is a philosophy. But this is what you have to grasp if you want to sell real estate right now. And that is that it's okay to try to convert each lead, okay, but don't spend a lot of time on it. Make sure you're time blocking to get more leads, okay? The more leads is where you're going to get an influx of volume of leads. And within that, there's going to be a percentage of people that want to do business now. Okay, so if you, if you follow the Zero Diamond philosophy, whereas we create a relationship with everybody, we put them in a database and send weekly emails every single week on the same day of the week forever to build that relationship even deeper, short and long term, okay, we're going to capture the people that want to do business today and the ones that want to do business later at the same time. I talk about dual purpose in a lot of my videos. Here is another example. When I'm talking to a prospect, they may want to do something now or in the future. Okay, either way it goes, I want to be their agent. Okay, and I'm not, I don't care if they want to buy or sell something today because I know that closings are happening every day. If you look in your MLS, closings are happening every single day. So the closings are happening. So if this person is not interested in doing a deal today, it's not my job to try to talk them into doing a deal today. It's my job to connect with them for the future and then move on quickly to somebody else who might do something today. If they don't, I want to connect for the future, put them in my weekly email database, move to the next one, the next one, the next one, whereas I'm developing this database of people that are going to do something in the future and then the sixth person we talk to, boom, they want to do something today. Okay, so the quicker you can move from person to person and, and still gather, still gather those those people as your sphere of influence, your you know your real lifelong relationships that I'm talking about, your your market share. That's your market share, your sphere, your database. So we're going to take those people, create that database for the future while we're still looking for somebody that wants to do a deal today. Okay, so you got to move through people quickly, find the people that want to do deals today because closings are happening all around you. And that's how we're going to do business right now. So how do we pick out an avenue for what we might say is the quickest route to a deal? Like I said, they're all short and long terms. So there's not really a quickest. I mean, you could circle prospect, which is said to be the longest, but I have agents that do deals the first week that they circle prospect all the time. So it's not a matter of what avenue. It's a matter of what are you good at? What do you feel good at? How do you feel? Do you communicate with people? You have to learn how to communicate. I have a lot of videos on how to effectively communicate through my phone scripts that aren't really the phone scripts. It's how are you doing? I'm enjoying the days and they're gorgeous. I don't want to take up too much of your time, but a house around the corner sold. Didn't know if there's anything I could do for you. Okay. These are low pressure approaches to figure out, get our foot in the door, let their guard down because we don't sound like every other agent to give them a chance to get to know us, that we actually care about them enough to become part of our database, our market share, our sphere of influence, people that know us, like us, trust us, and want only us as their real estate agent forever. So just to recap, I think the quickest way to your first deal is grind. Okay, grind. You have to get through as many people as you can to find the people that want to do stuff. I think a lot of you are getting hung up on two or three, like I said. Quit doing that. Realize that they don't want to do anything right now. It's okay. Put them in your database, send that weekly email, and keep moving. Okay, and find the people that want to do stuff. Why do people want to do stuff? Because their mom died, their kids went to college, they lost their job, got a job, there's something bigger going on in their life that's causing them to make this decision to buy or sell a property and that's what you got to find out. 
When you find a prospect that does want to do something or is interested, you want to find out, do they have an agent they're going to work with? Is their mom an agent? Is their aunt an agent? Is their sister an agent? Okay, if so, there's no chance for you to be their agent and you can decide right there how you want to handle the situation, but at least you know. The second question is why? Why are you thinking about buying? Why are you thinking about selling? And when you find out why and you focus on why, that really makes a connection between you and that prospect and now you really have a connection and they know that you're there to help them and you're not just there for a deal like most agents out there and they're gonna value you over everyone else and see you as their agent for life. So quit messing around, get out there, talk to people, talk to large volumes of people, let them know who you are, be confident in why you're there, be confident that you're there to help people, that you have the right intent. You're gonna run into people that don't like you or hang up on you or whatever the case may be, that's okay because in your mind, you know you were there to help them regardless if they saw it or not. That's their loss, not yours. You need to keep moving to find that 20 to 30% of people who don't have an agent and like you enough to do a deal. They may or may not be ready today, but there again, they might be. So if you would, click that like button. If you got anything out of this video, I really hope you did. I'm pouring my heart and soul into this YouTube channel. My overall goal, I haven't said in a while on here, is to reduce the failure rate in the real estate industry. I'm doing everything I can day and night to make that happen. So if there's anything I can do for you in the world, just reach out to me. I answer every single DM. If you haven't signed up for the free coaching, that's at zero to diamond.com. Find me everywhere. Subscribe to this channel. Talk to you soon.